So wherever you are in the world, thank you so much for joining us on this recording. This is actually a recording uh, of a webinar that we did uh, last Wednesday uh, uh, when we had mega people uh, online. And you know how sometimes what happens is you press the wrong button and I actually press the wrong button. Um, and so we're actually very grateful to um, uh, some people that you will, or one person that you'll, you'll get to meet in just a moment. Uh, but what we're going to do is kind of recreate the entire experience. And when we began the webinar, of course, we said, you know, you can remember when you were at school and you could put up your hand. Well, you could do that if you had joined us on the webinar. But of course, since you didn't join us on the webinar, you can't do that on the recording. And similarly, you can't ask questions on the recording. But once you've listened to the video, uh, you can, of course, send us uh, record send us uh, questions oh and one other thing i should have said is hi this is paul dan and <laughs> i'm in uh, in <laughs> singapore and uh, on the webinar that we originally did we had people from germany online we had people from france we had people in australia we have people in the united kingdom but wherever you are right now taking time to listen to this i can tell you that you're in for something really really cool um because uh, we've called this webinar Two Extremes. And the reason we've called it Two Extremes is not because we have um, male and female, as you can see on your screen right there, uh, but because this represents uh, two different approaches, and neither approach is, is wrong or whatever, but two totally different approaches to giving. And the reason that they're totally different approaches to giving, or at least they seem to be totally different approaches uh, to giving, is because the businesses are quite different. So later on today, you'll be meeting uh, on this video, you'll be meeting Rob O'Byrne, uh, who's uh, there in Sydney, and uh, Karen Omerod, who is re recreating her astonishing performance on the original uh, on the original webinar that we did. So Karen doubly thank you and and but so that people can get a sense of who Karen is let's just uh, embarrass her once again uh, and by the way the numbers have changed dramatically since here um, so here's Karen's giving record look at this 5,475 people uh, received occupational training for a day 1,700 plus people uh, have received a nourishing meal 384 children yeah, you know what? As I'm reading this, I, I just get a, a lump in my throat at, at what is possible once you actually create giving as a habit. Look at this, 247 people, uh, special uh, educational assistance, 100 people, personal hygiene, which I think revolves around toilets and so on, and then 29 children, a life education program. Uh, and how about this? Uh, you'll see a number coming up on your screen right now. That's the total number of givings that Karen has done ever since she's been a part of B1G1. And she's been a part of B1G1 for precisely that number of days as of last Wednesday, uh, but now a few more days uh, because Karen uh, is at uh, this extreme where uh, she gives every day. So Karen, uh, once again, thank you. We're just uh, thrilled, of course, that you're in B1G1, and but equally, uh, thrilled that you're able to take time out and share and inspire uh, other people with uh, with your story. So let's uh, let's be. Oh, there's Rob. By the way, we'll just flip through Rob's because that's coming up later on. That's some of the giving that Rob has been done, and you can see, you can see right there uh, less uh, less days giving, but equally very uh, stunning impacts. So Karen. Now we see on our screen some pictures, and on the top left we see Kobomo, which of course is your business, and it looks like it's surrounded by water. So tell us all about it. <laughs> uh, Kobomo is a it's a women's retail shop uh, in a local shopping centre there in Noosa, which is on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Uh, Noosa is a holiday destination for most people, and a big uh, retirement destination. So you can see in all the water canals there, they're all million dollar waterfront homes uh, with deep water access and uh, we have some of the most stunning beaches in the world. It's very hard to go on holidays when you live here. And this, this uh, program is also brought to you by the Noosa Tourist Authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just a really nice place to be. It's a resort town. So the, when 
with uh, my product and my shop being in the middle of a resort town, it's kind of resort wear, um, colourful cotton holiday, stuff you'd wear on a holiday um, here or in Bali. Um, we, uh, the shop itself is based um, uh, right near Woolworths, if you see that bottom left hand corner photo there, um, at the entrance to Woolworths, there, it's just a single level shopping centre, it's not a mall or anything, it's just got all your basics, a chemist, a news agent, a butcher, uh, hairdressers, a bank, um, uh, jewellers, uh, and then Woolworths um, is the main uh, shop in there. And so Kabomo is at one of the entrances to Woolworths and then there's a second one out the other side. So it's just, um, uh, it's a very convenient, it's a very much a locals place to shop um, right. where the locals do their weekly groceries. Yeah. And, we, and we should explain uh, to everyone that uh, who's, who's not uh, from Australia that uh, just in case you don't know, Woolworths is, uh, there are two, well, some would argue there are more than two, but uh, these are the big uh, sort of supermarkets uh, in Australia. Like a Tesco's or a Sainsbury's. Exactly. Market. Thank you for internationalising it. That's good, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, Noosa, is, in, in fact, on the original webinar, uh, someone, uh, Ainsley actually from the United Kingdom said, yes, I've been to Noosa and it's a really, yeah. really lovely place. So here's Kabomo and let's go a little deeper. And Karen, a moment ago you mentioned colour and I imagine everybody's screen is now filled with the colours of Kabomo. And look at that at the top left hand side there. It's actually quite tiny. If you could imagine 21 metres squared. Uh, but yeah, but you do fun. you do you do seem to uh, kind of extend a little bit there. <laughs> we do extend and we use every inch of it. Um, uh, it's kind of cut across a corner there, um, and so we quite an open front. Um, and so as people walk into Woolworths, we're um, very open to all that traffic. Mm -hmm. And um, on the back wall there, the black wall that you can see, that's our kids range. So about a third of the shop space is just for a newborn to ten-year-olds, boys and girls. That's on the right-hand side in that in that big picture. On the right-hand side, yeah, 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 yeah along yeah, that back wall. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of it is the women's stuff there. And who uh, are Sue and Karen? I mean, I know who Karen is, yeah. but who's Sue? <laughs> yeah, uh, Sue. That's Sue French. Sue's been working with me for uh, just over a year there, and she has had a lifetime in fashion. So Sue is on the floor when I am not, and uh, Mandy is another one. I haven't got a picture there. She's uh, she's my Monday girl too. Um, and between Sue, Mandy, and myself, I think we've got about seventy odd years in fashion just <laughs> between the three <laughs> of us. So um, fashion and sales. So um, I've got a really it's they're just part time. Sue's so semi retired ish, and uh, Mandy's building her own business as well in the makeup industry. So, um, uh, yeah, we all uh, have very different relationships with different clients as they come in. So, um, everyone adds their own flavor right. and character to the business. Yeah. And, and it, it's worthwhile explaining uh, as well, uh, Karen, how we met uh, and, and essentially how you got into. Uh, B1G1 because some of the things particularly on that left hand side picture there about buying this item changes our world it's fair to say would not probably have happened at this point uh, had we not met so just just let people know how, how that happened yeah, yeah. Uh, my accountant Kylie Anderson at RJS Accounting who um, was recommended to me herself by a, a long time local businessman who and um, I had been saying to Kylie I need to have a bigger view of the world than I have right where I am and needed uh, just something to give me um, a broader horizon for my business and um, uh, something new and fresh. I, a bit of, I just knew the same old, same old was not going to work for me. I was yeah. bored with it. Um, yeah, so and uh, so uh, she sent me an invite to the Inspire seminar and I have to say, I was quite over all the networking and seminary types of things. It was <laughs> not what I thought I wanted. Um, but I turned up. It looked really well organized. It was Kylie's recommendation, and I kind of went on her say so. And um, I think I knew Paul within the first within the first ten minutes at least. I said, "Yeah, this is it. I, this is home." Wow. Kind of thing. Now that's so, a lovely way of saying it. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. 
Wow, there we go. Right. And, 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 and let's uh, thank you for that. And, and it, it's fair to say that we've been in a fair bit of contact <laughs> since then. But you've been, I mean, but you've been leading a tremendous uh, charge, which is one of the reasons why I'm so grateful that you're taking time, because we, we want to get to talk about what, 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 what's happening on the left hand side there, where you see uh, that, uh, that uh, name tag. Uh, not name tag, mm. that swing tag right there. And I think, uh, Karen, if I if I push this button here, there you go, uh, we can see the front of the uh, tag and the back of it. So talk us through that because, and the reason I'd love you to talk, talk us through that is because um, this is a very overt way, isn't it, of talking about B1G1. So 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 go, go you know, tell us your experience yeah. and, and, and what brought it up and so on. Um, having implemented or having decided that uh, and seeing how effective that the buy one give one concept was going to be for uh, giving me a focus in the business, so it's not just frocks and pretty things we're making, it's um, you know adding purpose um, and it's having had that very defined focus. This just seemed out of the most logical thing to do. I just couldn't see another option other than stating exactly what we were. Um, so before this, it's, it's safe to say before the swing tags, I mean, what, what, what would you yep. do? People came in and, and you would have different um, conversations still, with them or, or what? We, well, we still had the same thing. My, my struggle was defining for my market what my business was. Um, it's kids' clothes, it's women's clothes, um, it's colourful cottons, it's plus size clothing. So it's this mismatch. Any one of those could have been a defining um, business in itself. But I've got this mismatch, can't help but do it. Um, and people like it. But to be able to communicate that to people didn't make sense. And at the end of the day, it was the, um, it's the uh, Simon's Neck. Don't. I'll oh, start, with, not, start with why. Yeah. What, Start with why. It's not yeah. what you do that people buy. It's it's why. Why you and do it. And that is what hit me to the core, um, and that completely changed the way that I looked at my business. Really, we didn't do a lot different from that point on, mm -hmm. um, in actual customer experience of us, other than saying, other than tying every transaction to a uh, making a difference to making it to doing the giving, um, but it. That's just kind of on the surface of things. On underneath, it's changed everything, um, and it really, as a business owner and and looking to direct a business on a day to day basis, it's given me a fundamental basis for everything I decide to do from now on. Um, and so, um, swing tags. Um, every we. No, but that, 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 let's just pause there for a second because that that's important. I mean, what what you're really saying. Uh, and I remember once in an email you said it's given you clarity, which was a, a great yes. way of saying it. Yeah. Um, yep. and, and does that mean, uh, Karen, does that mean that, uh, I mean, some people would look at the swing tag and say, well, I wonder what happens and does that increase the amount of, you know, people buying things or, or what? But it seems to me that what you've just said says, in effect, it doesn't matter because yes. this, this is who we are. Is, is that, would yes. that be a fair way We're of doing Exactly. We're doing what we were doing anyway. Um, we're not advertising ourselves to be a shop for charity. It's not something we use in advertising or promoting the garment to somebody to make a purchase. It's there on the garment. The swing tag is there because it's just the easiest way for us to say thank you. We um, will sell this month um, over a thousand items. So we will to communicate that to 600 or so different customers, different transactions, um, that's a pretty hard task when you're getting them without sounding uh, rote and spielish during yeah, the day yeah, um, yeah. in your conversation with people. And so um, this is just means that they, um, they do see it there on the hanger. Not many people comment um, on the fact that the tags are there. I, it, Kind of didn't know what to expect the day that we started tagging everything. I just, and it was surprisingly quiet from customers. You're expecting after putting something quite um, strong, <laughs> uh, <laughs> strong right out centre, uh, that uh, people will respond in kind, and there'll be lots of conversation about that. We do have conversations every day about the sprint, about the swing tag, 
but not a huge percentage, and it just didn't. Uh, it wasn't a big bang. Um, but you were saying that people are, are looking at the clothing, and and then when you when you package or wrap the clothing, yeah. you were saying that it, it you suspect that it's what happens afterwards when they when they open yeah. it up at home. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Um, as you know, girls, I'm probably talking to, or maybe the guys too, but um, when you walk into a shop and you see a pretty frock, you pick it up and you go, oh, I like that. You check the size and you uh, so does it fit and you check the price. Is it in my budget? Um, so that is the first thing that people look at and that really has been shown to us to be so true since putting these swing capes here. Um, what we do find, some people comment, but it's, it's just so ad hoc if people do. I think the real effect of the tag is really exactly how we want. It's not, um, you know, they, they try it on, we chat to them through the whole process. Um, if it comes up, we talk to them at length about it. It, mm. if it just depending on the situation. If it doesn't come up, we just say thank you very much and we pop it in the bag and there off go. they go home. But when, I think the effect of it is when they pull it out of the bag at home, you're in your bedroom, you try it on and you go, yeah, I really like this. And then you, once you've decided you're not going to return anything, you do cut the tags off, have a look and you go, ah. Very and then when you show your husband, your friend, hey, I bought this today, what do you reckon? And he goes, oh, that's nice. How much was that? Well, it wasn't too much, but look at this. <laughs> and the tag over the husband and go, did I do a good thing today? We, so, um, we did some and good. And maybe share the story that way. That's <laughs> but, awesome. Um, yeah, so I think, it, it, so we don't, do our thanking, you know, we don't tell people face to face what they've um, helped us do, um, but I think the effect is far more, I'm hoping that the effect, we're only mm. a couple of, or not even a couple of months down the track with this, a month down the track, um, is far more impactful over time by the fact that it is given privately in effect. Yes, well, it's, it's actually, I mean, the, the tag is actually having uh, already, uh, as I think you know, um, impact because other businesses, I mean, one of them actually an accountant who's who's using essentially that tag uh, to be able to say you know when you change accountants you can change our world as well so you know we've got to congratulate you on being uh, on being sort of open and up there and and talking of being out there ladies and gentlemen watching this video yes that is a New York taxi and yes that New York taxi has a Kobomo uh, uh, have a logo. Huge advertising budget, no. <laughs> uh, but but Karen, come on, reveal all. Come on, reveal all. It is uh, what? That is my uh, lots of late nights spent on Photoshop, <laughs> <laughs> um, and a, I, I've got to recommend it to any. So there's a billboard generator website you can find if anyone wants it. Email. <laughs> Um, and I, I have, if you have a look on the Facebook site, uh, we have a billboard in Times Square, we have a billboard in Piccadilly <laughs> Circus, we have a billboard on the side of a truck travelling around the countryside and one very close to an airport somewhere in the world, I don't know. And, I, and I think you also have Oprah wearing your, your garment, as I recall, as well. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, awesome yeah, thing. Yeah, but, but no, that, but that, so that little bit is Photoshop. And Marilyn Munro. <laughs> oh, really? But the bit on the right where you've got an express post package, uh, that, that's obviously not Photoshopped. And that's that's no, no. Uh, relating to. Uh, co By the way, you mentioned your email. That's Karen at kabomo dot com dot au, right? Yep. Yep. Um, yep. So and and uh, although you're on the video right now, and keep watching because some other things coming up. Uh, when we finish, you might want to go to kabomo dot com dot au because you will see some really interesting things. Like you can see the the, the clothes here for the kids. Uh, you see down the bottom left of your screen, you see the shoes. Um, and uh, Karen, this lady right here plays a part in all that. Now, although she looks like a film star, she's actually not. Tell us about Rat. Uh, that is Ratty Rat Rasame. Uh, yes, she does have a film star name. And that's her little boy Kun in the back seat there. Um, Rat I met in Bangkok uh, early last year. And she has really since... Uh, Coincidental, I don't know. Since we met, um, per chance, in a in a very large market in a very large city, uh, last year she's since become my uh, my right hand in everything. Um, she's a 28 year old, uh, very connected uh, in terms of iPhone, iPad, etc., and uh, she sews like a demon. She um, produces all of our Kabomo label products, right. and um, we shop together every week in Bangkok via um, 
uh, like Skype, but it's called WhatsApp. Um, so you use WhatsApp and, 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 yeah, WhatsApp, and away you take go. Take photos oh. while she's there, and we do all that live together. Um, uh, yeah, so we communicate pretty much all hours of the day. It's amazing, isn't it? It's it's it's, it's yeah. amazing, yeah. you know how how yeah. global we are, and you're clearly uh, taking advantage of that in yeah. in the most. Uh, Really interesting. Yep. And talking about taking it. Oh, go ahead. You 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 drew breath. So I presume you were going to add something. Uh, I was going to say, uh, she has her own little uh, market stall at Jadajak uh, Markets as well. Uh, but most of her income comes from our our shop in Noosa, and I only sell the Kubana label there. So her family supports my family, and my family support hers. So it's kind of how we work it, and we become really good friends. Um, well, that's lovely. Over that time. Yeah. And talking of family, this this next little shot is uh, is interesting because uh, you know the question often comes up. Well, okay, Karen gives every day. Yes, Karen gives every. I vouch for it. Karen gives every day, and and when I say every day, that includes Saturday and Sunday, by the way. So it's like seven days. Um, and Karen, here's how you do it. And the link to family. I remember uh, very early on after. You'd uh, you joined B1G1, and by the way, I also remember that you actually were giving before you actually joined B1G1. You, you were that sort of yeah, there. You were yeah. you were keen to go, but I do remember you saying that you, you one of the things you did a couple of times was you actually sat with your six year old. Am I is Max six? Yep, Max. Uh, and yep, who Max was just and, on that previous slide too. Yeah, and uh, you actually did the giving with him. But this is how Karen does it now for. Uh, Long-term uh, B1G1ers uh, online, you'll recognize that particular thing called My Favorite Giving. Um, but what's interesting is that a few people actually still don't know that you can do this thing called My Favorite Giving. So, Karen, just, just talk through how, how you do it. What, what, what do you do? Because it doesn't take very long, right? No, no, it's very quick. Um, you'll see that right, on that page there I've got four different projects listed. It's the last right over one here. there that Probably. we... Uh, the last one, giving a meal to a child. Right that there. is the one that we have tied to our daily transactions in each item that we sell right. in the shop. So, um, but before we got to uh, committing to that one, I suppose um, uh, we tried a few different things. I tried yep. switching right. it around and um, found uh, well, there's just too many great projects to give to. Uh, this one worked for me because it was Thailand, um, and that's where uh, you know that is. Uh, the country where it, that supports my shop a lot. So So essentially all you do is just go to this little um, place right here, is yep, that right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then if it's thirty five pieces, I put in thirty five, it calculates it, add to cart, it clicks through to PayPal and you pay by PayPal and then PayPal switches you automatically back to buy one give one and then I can keep reading about all the other different projects. <laughs> <laughs> get, uh, distracted from other uh, my other daily. Um, uh, and, and Karen, let me just activity. let me just uh, yeah. let, let me just say it's interesting. Um, and um, we weren't able to say this last Wednesday, but we can say it today. Uh, you you talked about uh, you know spreading the giving around, and in a moment or two when we get to Rob, you'll see uh, exactly how Rob uh, does that. But mm. um, but uh, what's interesting is uh, just about uh, 50 minutes ago, um, someone actually gave across I think it was 37 projects um, in oh. in one giving. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a real estate agent actually. His name is David yeah. Newton, and he's yeah. in. Uh, He's in uh, Caring Bar down there in uh, Sydney. And interestingly, that took the B1G1 giving past 16 million uh, giving oh, activities uh, today. Cool. So, yeah, kind of interesting day. But anyway, yeah. uh, but, but back to you because I, I said at the beginning of this that we, uh, you know, because of the recording issues and all of those sorts of things, that, 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 that we can't actually comment on everything else. But during the actual time, Karen, you received a number of, and you were so open to them, uh, fascinating comments. One that sticks in my mind was from Michael Foldy. Can you remember what, my, I'm sure you can, uh, what Michael said about how we might uh, encourage more people? Mm. Uh, just, just talk about that, if you would. Oh, um, in the shop? Yeah. His idea for the shop. Yeah, he suggested, um, uh, while I was talking there, to uh, have a, a ticker in the shop basically to show where the monthly giving is uh, through the day, uh, yeah. through the month, 
yeah. um, as we go. And um, that, uh, well, that would work for us very well. It would certainly, well, I would think, open up more conversation with people and to be able to really show people the impact on a day to day basis. Because a lot of people do come in sometimes three times a week. They, they might only purchase every couple of weeks, but um, they drop in constantly. And so to be able to have something live on the wall. Yeah, it would be very interesting, and I, and I know that's uh, I know that's something yep. you're looking at, and uh, that's how yep. those numbers right there will increase. But uh, I, uh, yep. so it seems to me that you know it's it's probably you know a minute max, right, to to be able to give every day. Uh, if that even. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very very good. Right. Yeah. Um, all... Sorry, Karen. Go. Once it's. Uh, I mean, for us, because we've got our giving selected, the thing that takes time is reading the projects, and you just get <laughs> that. That's that's where I lose my time. But I, it, it's fantastic. It's fantastic to be able oh. to do that, and you just see so many ways you could contribute. Well, and, and we're really, really thrilled that you do. And I remember you sending me this picture, and I'm thinking now, why on earth would someone send me, send me a picture of? Of I presume that's. Jean Kelly or something is it up there? That shows my age. That, that represent that is my happy heel clicking uh, end of day moment every time when I do give on my B one G one because whether you've had a great because every because you're giving is transaction based so for me retail every day this is how many sales we made we had a good day we had a not so good day whatever it is you have a great day you go wow look what we're able to give it you have a not so good day you go wow doesn't matter, look what we were able to do. And, so that, yeah. is, um, that is why giving every day is, uh, is very powerful in my own world. Yeah. It's very interesting you say that because uh, I was watching a movie with the children last night which is called Happy, um, a mm -hmm. brand new movie called Happy. And it talks about actually how we get happy and, and not surprisingly, and by the way, people joining us on the video now, I'm sure they get that that's exactly who you are. And, and one of the, the most uh, interesting things is you've just articulated very well that we often think, and of course it, this is true, that the giving is for the beneficiary uh, that, that uh, is, is mentioned up there alongside every project. But what you just said is that, that you know, we're actually the beneficiary ourselves, right, uh, from, from it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, my experience has been it's me, it's my kids, it's my husband is more, I mean, he's been committed to the business, but uh, him to see more purpose. Everybody who um, touches on the purpose and um, uh, sees that it is more than just what it looks to be. Yeah, the that's great. Thing is yeah. affected by it, yeah. Karen, you have done a uh, an astonishing job uh, at uh, recreating <laughs> what we did uh, last week, and I'm just going to put another I'm slide up there. About all the things we left out. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to put up another slide here because just uh, just uh, in a minute we're going to meet uh, we're going to meet Rob, and you can see Rob's giving there. And I remember when we showed this uh, last week uh, in the video, uh, just ahead of going to this particular slide where we were talking about Rob's business. When we got to that, that previous slide right there, we talked about Rob, and Rob came on and he said, oh, my God, I am inspired. And what was the word he said? He said, I, I feel I, I feel as I'm not doing enough or, or whatever. And jealous. Thank you. That that was the word. No, no, he's jealous because I get to do it every day, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. right. Well, but then he gets to these huge things too. <laughs> and we're about to find out what those huge things are. But Karen, um, I, uh, I I get uh, jazzed just uh, by talking with you. I am so thrilled that, that uh, you're part of B1G1. So a huge thank you from uh, all of us uh, at B1G1 on behalf of not just the people that you impact through your giving, but also the people that you've impacted right now thank you so so much and we on the video will go and join rob and, and helping people that really what is what makes us tick and and the one front and center down there is a really fascinating business called virtual done well and that's based in the philippines and um this was a business that started uh or the genesis of it was probably a year ago when we started outsourcing some of our back office functions to the philippines and we had some fantastic staff um, but, but sadly, the environment they were working in wasn't that good. So 
uh, it was Christmas last year, we, we basically said, hey guys, um, how about we build a business around you? Uh, and so I went over there in January and we've actually started this outsourcing business in the southern part of the Philippines, which is awesome because we've got these really smart people, you know, they're early 20s uh, and they're just going gangbusters. So Great. it's it's kind of in the same flavor of B1G1, that's what I why I mention it because the biggest kick we get out of all of our businesses is that one and, and seeing how those people are growing and developing. Um, and, and so, Sorry, Rob, go ahead. Yeah, yeah go on. No, I was going to say, and what's interesting about about all of that is, you know, we, we talked about uh, Karen's customers, and, and most of those were, uh, you know, were women, obviously, and, and so on, hmm. and, you know, just dropping into a shopping center. Well, your customers are quite different, are they not? Uh, I mean, They are a bit, so flick to that Take page. a look. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, you'll see some pretty interesting uh, names right there. Uh, yeah, like so, so these are the sort of people that we work with um, with our main business, Logistics Bureau, and basically we help them design warehouses and you know, negotiate freight contracts and all of those things that comprise logistics and supply chain. Mm. Now, what's really great, and I guess is a very significant contrast to Karen's business, is that our transactions with these guys are really quite large but infrequent. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm sort of sitting here twiddling my thumbs for weeks or months sometimes waiting for a major project to finish so that I can jump on the B1G1 website. But what's awesome is that we can we can actually give in huge chunks because what we do is um, we, we use a sort of rough uh, percentage, if you like, of the, uh, the invoicing to the client. And then what we do is we send with the final invoice to the client uh, a a certificate of appreciation and uh, there's a personal letter from me as well which basically explains what the whole B1G1 program is about. And we um, can see some so of those it, it is quite a different, now, yeah. yeah, it's a different sort of style of giving totally. So, I mean, I've just put some examples there. So the one on the top left, you know, that was a major project that we were doing with West Track. Um, you know, we were able to help 70,000 children in Kenya with that. You know, I mean, that just gives you such a buzz but I have to wait months to do it. Um, one on the top right there. This is really interesting about how we pick our projects because um, one of our, the youngest member of our staff is actually from India and um, we, we kind of take it in turns around the business to pick what projects we'd like to give to. And um, Addy said to us a couple of months ago, she said, you know, Women are really quite poorly treated in a lot of areas of India, and you know, young girls don't get mm. the opportunity that they should. Mm. And so we picked this particular project in India, um, and I've promised to Addy that the next two or three major projects we'll give to that one. Mm. So it becomes a really personal thing in the business, um, and it, and that actually raises an interesting point because. I know so, so Rob, just saying, to, just to, just to pause you there for a minute. So, you're yeah. involving the team in 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 where the giving goes. That that's essentially it, right? Yes, very yeah. much so. Yeah. So th this was something which was really uh, important to a particular team member, um, and and you know we just jumped on board when she explained the situation and and how you know our giving could really make a significant difference. So, you know, it's great to have that insight. And wow, you know, it just makes that project so much um, more alive. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, down the bottom there, um, I'm, I'm actually going to use one of your tips, Paul, because we run quite a lot of um, free seminars for our clients, and they come in for half a day, and we teach them all about supply chain and logistics, and, it, and it's sort of a, a subtle marketing exercise. What we're going to do uh, at our next events next month is that we will actually give everybody who attends a certificate. Great. So we'll do like you do in your seminars. They'll get a sealed envelope, and please don't open this until Rob tells you. Mm. And at the end of the event, we'll we'll thank them for their attendance and explain that you know we integrate giving with our business activities. And you know, on behalf of everyone who attended today, we have given to a certain project. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Uh, it's like you, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting thing, and and uh, you know Brenda Thompson, who's down there in Melbourne and joining us. I mean, she she does uh, lots and lots of programs, and uh, she does very interesting things with, uh, for example, 
the what do you call it the lanyards you know that that uh, that that people mm. uh, were asking them to put the lanyard in a you know in one of three or four boxes depending upon where they want their giving to go to um rob can i ask you this and there's a, uh, mm. because of the length of the project let's just hypothetically say that the length of the project is is six months for example yeah so the client is not aware at any is, it, by the way first of all is that a typical length of project or would it be would it be longer than that? it would be fairly typical yeah three to six months okay cool so are they aware at any point uh of of, of the discussions uh, of the ongoing project with you of anything that's going to be happening around the giving or is it like a quote unquote big no. surprise at the end yeah no it's very covert and, it, and in fact um you know, we, we had a brief discussion about that a few weeks ago um, because w we wondered whether we ought to be sending a certificate with each invoice. So, mm. for example, a client project over six months, they might get six invoices through the life of the project. Mm. And we thought, oh, this is great, we can, we can give six times. But we felt that it was kind of putting an obligation on the client, mm. an unfair obligation. Um, and so we decided to actually just leave it till right at the end of the project. So there was no chance that it could be misconstrued or anything mm. like that. Mm. Um, we, we play it very low key. Um, there, there is a page on our website uh, that talks about our B1G1 program. So if you just Google Logistics Bureau B1G1, it will come up. Mm. Uh, and we have a little, um, you know, one of your ticker widgets that shows our giving and so on. Mm. Uh, but other than that, we don't really promote it. Mm. Um, so it's early days for us. We, we just... We feel more comfortable with it being a little bit more covert. And and Rob, it is early days. I mean, when it was was it March that you that you uh, or, or even later? Uh, no, it was May, I think. May, my goodness. <laughs> May down in Melbourne. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It was too. It was too. Um, and we were. Changing emails at midnight because once we'd signed up to the program, I started giving. You did, yes, <laughs> I, I remember like, that. I remember it was that. like being a kid in a cookie shop with all these great <laughs> <Yeah>. projects. <laughs> well, that's kind of like Karen. I mean, Karen was doing uh, the, the 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 same thing. Um, so, Rob, anything else that you would you would like to add? Thank you for giving me these great slides to mm. look at as well. By the way, anything else you'd like to add? No, look, I, I think um, I think what we've seen, you know, between Karen and myself is that there's there's very different ways of doing it, and. Um, it was interesting, um, you know, when we were talking about feedback from clients. We, we haven't really had any feedback from clients, mm, um, and and we talked about that internally. And I think they just, they're not quite sure how to react. Mm. You know, when, when you get your final invoice and it says, "Oh, we've just helped fifty thousand children to do you know X, Y, and Z." Mm. Go, well, oh, should we ring them up? Should we reply to the email? Yeah. I think they're kind of just dumbstruck. Yeah. And it's interesting. And Rob, you know what? I, I, but, you, but you know, it doesn't matter. That's the key thing because, yeah. I mean, there are three there are three key players in all of this. There is us, and we we get such a boost whenever we we we're able to give something. There's the people in need, the most important people in in this triangle, if you like. And uh, I'm sure the client feels good about it. But if I don't get to hear about it, I really don't worry. Yeah, you know what, Rob? I, I think that there may be some comments on that, and and it's so interesting. Um, and, and and thank you for being so open and everything. So interesting because as you're going through, I, I'm just seeing some things coming up here that uh, might be interesting for us to have a, a, an interesting little chat about as to how we actually uh, can get uh, some uh, even more uh, connectivity in there. And of course, those of us uh, who are listening to uh, the program. Uh, the webinar again. Thank you for staying. Um, and if you have any uh, any comments uh, on either what Rob has been sharing or indeed what Karen was sharing, then I know they will both uh, they will both appreciate that. Uh, so Rob, uh, claps are coming in for you as well. <laughs> so very very good. Uh, yeah. Oh, and there's there's a live <laughs> clap right there. You see. Um, so. Um, yeah, go ahead, please. Who was that? I was I? That was about, me, Karen. The, uh, Rob's saying, you know, jealous of us being able to give every day. The one thing that you have there that we don't have the flexibility to, to do every day is to select a different project. Because we print our tags and um, they kind of have to be on there for a certain period of time because it covers every garden. You don't turn over your stock every week. Mm. Um, and so to be able to select a project is... Uh, it's a huge advantage there, <laughs> and and it's interesting, Karen, because there 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 are uh, there's another a retail store that we work with in um, 
uh, in Sydney, actually, where uh, each month they have different things going on in the store. They're actually a chemist, um, and they by they're using V1G1 to point people, in effect, uh, to to prod, uh, products that might generate more giving in that particular month. You know, a long time ago we tried to describe. Um, what is B1G1? And by the way, you're going to everybody. Uh, we are going to uh, play some more uh, with um, how uh, we do that uh, in the coming weeks and months. But you may remember, you know, fundamentally, we've said you take your service, your product, or your sales. You choose how much to give, um, and both of you have come to, you know, your own conclusions uh, about what's affordable given the particular uh, circumstances and the particular customers, then you link it to one or more of 634 of those projects up there, and, and you choose projects that resonate. And I, Rob, I love what you said um, about um, when you know, you're a team member in India. So what you're doing is you're resonating, picking things that resonate with the team or mm. indeed with the client, uh, and most importantly with yourself. And one of the things that we're seeing more and more now is although people are giving to more than one project, that's the norm now, uh, that there would be more than one project, you know, it's always possible for you to do that, uh, but also to have one main project, if you will, uh, that might be the focus of the organization. But certainly doing, uh, doing more projects is, uh, is a really, really cool way uh, of, uh, of going. And, you know, part of, yeah, go ahead, Karen, yeah, go ahead. Um, I was going to say, the way I found of finding the right project was just by starting to give to anything. It took a few different goes at giving to other things before I, as I was tr working out how to integrate the buy one, give one into the business, but just from the very first go at it, it was, uh, well, it felt terrific as it does, mm. but it was trying a few different things and that that found the right thing. Yeah. So it, and, and yeah, and, and, and by practice, you couldn't stand back and work it out. You had to do it to work it out. Exactly so. And and one of the things that I think is so interesting now, and whether it's a scale thing or I, I'm not sure what it is, but um, you know, as we generate more conversations and an even greater sense of community, um, then. You know, I know the thing that's most interesting for for all uh, for for both of you is to listen to what others are saying. I mean, for example, here's a wonderful uh, observation uh, from Michael Michael Foldy uh, down there in uh, in Melbourne. Uh, who, by the way, I mean Michael is just out there. He used to be called I even forget what it was called now, but it was oh, what was it called? Something Solutions. I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, doing uh, office uh, office supplies, and uh, Michael, you might even type it if you're still there. I've forgotten it. But now, um, you know, he, he knew that his why had to be front and center, so he completely changed the name of his business, so that the name of the business is now Make a Difference Office Supplies. And Michael has just made a very interesting comment, and it might be a lovely place for us to uh, think forward from this particular webinar. And, and here's, here's the comment. He says, while we feel good by giving, I think it's vital to do everything we can to connect with our customers and prospects about B1G1. And then he makes this really interesting point, and, and it, it's a lovely point, Michael. Thank you for it. He says, by connecting, we're then likely to influence them uh, to become B1G1 advocates. And as a result of that, of course, uh, what happens great point. is it's a great point, isn't it? And, and mm. Rob, um, I'm, I'm certain just from a couple of things that have, uh, I've seen here that we can have some additional conversations uh, uh, around that. Oh, someone I see just one second has got a hand. I don't know how to deal with that. Someone's got a hand raised. Who is that? Um, I can't even see who's got the hand raised. Maybe they've had their hand raised for a very long time and I just haven't seen it. Um, so my apologies if you've got your hand raised and I... I really can't figure out who that is. So uh, that, that requires more practice from my point of view, obviously. But uh, look at that. Um, this is going to go down uh, in history uh, in a number of ways. One, it's the first B1G1 Connection webinar. Two, it is the first B1G1 thing that's actually got a chance of ending on time, which is amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> anything with which I'm involved is not known for doing that. So um, can I just, uh, on behalf of everybody who's uh, been uh, a part of this, uh, say thank you, Karen, to you. Um, uh, you know, we, we converse very frequently on email, but to actually hear you deliver it uh, like, like that was just astounding. Uh, as Rob said, uh, you know, he feels jealous <laughs> at what you do. But I want to, want to thank you particularly, Karen, for, you know, trailblazing uh, out there and, and just having the courage to, uh, to go for it. Equally, Rob, uh, same thing for you, to be able to jump in within, you know, a, a minute or so of, of joining B1G1 and to get on there and then to uh, find wonderful ways of expressing uh, how great it makes you feel is just astonishing. Um, and as, as Michael has just said, when you think about that, that uh, customer list, the client list of yours, there's uh, so much more that we can, I just get a sense, there's so much more that mm. we, we can do. That, and, that, and, that's got to be the next phase for us, hasn't it? To, I, uh, uh, I would, really well, I think, for, yeah, I think mm. for, for all of us, it's a really interesting thing as uh, B1G1 uh, moves forward. But since um, uh, you can't hear the claps, what we do have is one of these things. <laughs> Uh, to say thank you and <laughs> massive, uh, massive, massive uh, applause, uh, massive applause to uh, to you uh, as we uh, end with uh, this one of the new ways there that we're thinking of uh, uh, talking about B1G1. But this is a very appropriate little slide to finish on, uh, bearing in mind Michael's comment that it's all about impact, it's yeah. about habit, and it's about connection. Thank you so much for uh, having the impact for generating the habit, and importantly, for reaching out this afternoon the way you have to engage, uh, to garner even more connection. You have been awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you.